Okay, so again, I want to tape off the section that I'm working on, which is just the second section here. So it's kind of like this. This is the section here. And we're still using color schemes. So we're also trying to do different color schemes. I did warm for the first one, so I'm gonna do cool for the second one. So again, I'm just gonna tape off just so I can visually see. Divides a color wheel in half. So I'm only gonna be using these colors to paint this section, even where it's red, right? I have to use a different color to reinterpret that apple. So I'm gonna have that here as a guide. Where should I put it? Put it over here. All right, so these are my guides. And then if I want to, I could also tape off with this non-sticky tape. It's only sticky on one side. Oh, I didn't get enough. I'm only working on this middle section. I don't wanna get paint in other places. So that's what painter's tape is really good for. If you're painting your house and you wanna keep a trim of a window nice and clean, you can take the time and line it with the painter's tape. Just make sure you get sticky tape, tape that sticks. Okay, so I wanna keep that area from being painted. All right, so I'm only doing in here, I'm only doing cool colors, and I'm gonna do impressionism. All right, so I've got two brushes. I'm gonna use this flat brush to kind of fill in areas, and then I'm gonna be using this rounded brush to add more of the mark making and lines like in the Starry Night back on top. So first thing I need to do is just paint color. I can blend, I don't have to blend, um, but I am restricting my colors. So I need to make this yellow green. That's blue, blue green, green, yellow green, yep. All right, so I'm just gonna start painting this in using only cool colors. All right, so I'm too impatient to let paint dry. So I'm just gonna work on top of this while it's wet. And remember, I'm challenging myself because I'm trying to use only this half of the color wheel. And I'm still trying to get the values that I'm seeing here. So where it's lighter on this apple, I'm gonna try to make those colors using the cool colors and then try to use my rounded brush to get more of those Van Gogh kind of lines on there. So let's see if I can do white. I want pink, because that'd be warm, so I'm gonna make it more of a purple. So always keep in mind the direction of your brush strokes. Like I wouldn't wanna go sideways horizontal, because that wouldn't go with the form or the direction of the apple. Get some white, white to get that white, bright highlight. So remember you're layering right on top. There's kind of this, part of the apple here, right? Ooh, there's some nice yellow green down there and yellow green is on my cool side of the color wheel. That's exciting. More yellow, I use yellow green. So if it looks like it'd be yellow, but you're using the cool colors, you gotta use yellow green. Because we're challenging ourselves. Okay, I'm liking this. All right, so I get more of that highlight in here. You can use straight white, 
some bright highlights. Purple. Can't use red, so I gotta make it purple. And then I gotta get dark in here. So to get dark, I'm gonna go blue. Because if I'm looking at the darkest color on my cool side, it's that blue. So you can really see how this is a lot more about movement. Ugh, I don't like that color. Paint on top. And then I'm gonna do the same thing back in here and back on there. Okay, now the best part is taking off the tape. Let's see. Hmm. My stem connection got a little funky there. Okay, so that is my impressionistic layer. I think I'm gonna retouch to make that stem actually connect and then I will call this done. Also, I'm now seeing, since this was supposed to be warm up here and I did yellow green, I'm going to correct that since yellow is on the warm side. I messed up. So I'm gonna go over my yellow green with just a layer, maybe two layers of yellow.